and gentlemen, to another broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. I'm so glad you uh, tuned in, and uh, thanks for the new subscribers, and uh, thank you for viewing. Uh, if you have uh, subscribed, or if you would like to subscribe, just click the red button at the bottom right hand of the uh, video, and there's a subscribe button, and we welcome to uh, Jerusalem's Gate. We'd love to have you. Uh, now, I talked about yesterday about the defeat of the rebels by uh, the Russian-backed pro-Assad forces in uh, southern Dara. And uh, today there's an article out on a Reuters and a video that I want to show you. I want to dive into this article and this video a little bit more in depth. But unless something changes majorly, I know that Israel strikes here and there, but unless a major military uh, involvement uh, that goes against uh, Assad happens. It looks like the, the Russian-backed pro-Assad forces may very well win this uh, civil war. Now, uh, it's been raging for seven years and hundreds of thousands of people have unfortunately passed away. And war is uh, ugly and war is bad. And uh, people get hurt and killed, of course. But uh, it's... Uh, it's, the title reads, Syrian rebels say uh, army besieging their enclave in southern city Dara. And uh, of course, uh, they were uh, handed a humongous defeat. And it looks like the rebels are trying to position themselves to flee. Uh, I think they're running out of fight, uh, in my own personal opinion, uh, unless another country steps in, fully steps in. Not an airstrike here or airstrike there. I mean, a full. Uh, complete involvement uh, against Assad, but uh, I don't think uh, that I don't know if that may happen or not. I really don't. Uh, but I'm not a political strategist, and uh, and yes, to my Israeli uh, friends and to my uh, American friends, I do catch a lot of heat and insults for supporting Israel. Uh, a lot of it. At first, it, it got to me. Uh, they were so cruel and so uh, vicious. Uh, and uh, but now it, it kind of rolls off my shoulder and uh, I don't let it try to get to me but uh, that comes with the territory you know the Jewish people I hate it simply because they're Jewish and uh, you know G if you're a Christian uh, you know that Jesus was a Jew and we owe everything to the Jewish people for our Christian uh, for the Bible and the uh, uh, patriarchs the prophets uh, the disciples Jesus of course and, but let's uh, dive into this article from Reuters, and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you haven't subscribed, hit that right, the bottom right-hand corner of the video. There's a subscribe button at the end of the video. You'll also have a subscribe button. Uh, it'll be a picture of me in Israel by the menorah, uh, and you just click on that, and that'll that subscribe you to uh, Jerusalem's Gate. We'd love to have you. Let's go on to the, uh, the article. Yes, my dear friends, this is the uh, article I was just talking about. Title, it's coming out of Reuters once again. Uh, title reads, Syrian rebels say army besieging their enclave in southern city Dara. Now, if you haven't catched my video yesterday, I highly recommend uh, viewing it. Uh, let's go into the article. Amman Reuters, the Syrian army and allied troops laid siege to the rebel-held enclave in Dara. Dara on Monday and were poised to gain complete control of the city where the uprising against uh, President Bashar Assad's rule first erupted, as Surgeon said. Let's go into a little bit more. Uh, with its advance on rebel-held parts of Dur uh, Dura City, the government appeared to be piling uh, military pressure on the insurgents even after they agreed to surrender terms last week in a major victory for Assad. The army was also cons consolidating its grip over the border area with Jordan to the east of Dura City on Monday. Free Syrian army rebels, once backed by the west and Jordan, have mostly ha uh, handed over the, the area along with their heavy arms to the government since the surrender deal clinched last uh, Friday. Uh, let's uh, go into this video. I thought you'd find it very interesting. Let me blow it up for you. And let's see here. Let me get this all straight. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's the video. The Syrian army and allied troops have laid siege to the rebel-held enclave in Dara. 
Rebels there say the government forces are poised to gain complete control of the southeastern city. A spokesman for the opposition group in Derar told Reuters that several thousand people are encircled. On Sunday, the Syrian army released this footage of tanks and ground units advancing into built-up areas. Now, the return of Derar to President Bashar al-Assad's complete control would be a big psychological blow to the rebels. The city epitomised the early peaceful protests against Assad in 2011. They spread across Syria, only to be violently crushed. The crackdown paved the way for the country's bloody civil war. On Monday, state media made no mention of the siege of Derar, but said the army was spreading out along border areas with Jordan. That has worried Israel, who threatened Syria with a, quote, harsh response if it deploys near its Golan Heights frontier zone. The area, which borders on southern Syria, was demilitarized under a 44-year-old UN-monitored truce. Israel worries that Syria's president could let its enemies Iran and Hezbollah move forces into the area, giving them a foothold near its border. Tehran and the Lebanese group both back Assad in the conflict. Well, ladies, well, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to give that news to you. Giving them a foothold near its border. Right here, let me pause that. I just wanted to get you the uh, latest on the uh, situation in Syria. Uh, you're watching and listening another broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. God bless you all. We're praying for everyone.